I'm going to show you in this video how to link worksheets to a list on the main page in Excel. I was working for this woman this week and that she needed a list of events that they were going to publicize their new facility at. And so I made this template for them to record um, all the information about each of the events. Now this is basically a combination of, the other, of another thing that I was working on as well. Someone was having difficulty uh, linking sheets to a list on the first page. And so I combined the two things and I came up with this that's, that's following. So let's say this woman was going to go to the Chamber of Commerce. So what we're going to do is put the name of the event in here for her to put as an event name. Okay, and then we press enter and then we click back on it and now I click on the add event, add event button and what it's done now is um, it has first of all created a hyperlink and now if we click on that hyperlink we go to the Chamber of Commerce and there you have the information uh, template being, have being copied over to each of these and then they can fill in the re information regarding this event. So let's go back to sheet one and let's do that again. Let's go, um, let's say trade fair here. And click away and then click on it and you go add event. And there you have, it's hyperlinked. It's hyperlinked to your trade fair and you would be able to fill in all the information. Now I wrote this code with two possibilities. Um, the possibility that I first that I showed you right now is that you uh, you go one uh, one event at a time but you can also go if you had to put in a whole list of events you could run down the whole list and create them all at once and my code will reflect both of those. So let me show you the code. And so basically I've named it um, add event and uh, sh as worksheet, sheet one as uh, sh1 as worksheet, o as range, last row as long, r as row, row as an integer, sheets one activate. Okay, set sh1 equals sheet one. Okay, now the one, the stuff that I have commented out here is how you would run it if you wanted to do a list instead of one at a time. And so for the list, we have the last row defined as um, we go to the first column in the last row, we go from the bottom up, and then we do a for loop for r equals two, because I have a header in the top, from two to the last row, then you do each one of these, into each one all at once, and then there's your next. But uh, what I've done on this one is I've just, um, if we set O range to active cell, so if you select a cell and then press the button, then you do the exact same thing. So sheets template copy, and then you put it in the sheet, the last sheet after the current number of sheets there. And then you're going to go, this new sheet that you've created, you're going to activate. And then you're going to say uh, the new sheet's name is whatever the, the active cell is that your value. So you renamed it this. And now you're creating a hyperlink. So sheet one hyperlink add. So O range, which is the value of the active cell, active sheet name, and then I'll scroll over here a bit. Um, active sheet name and uh, quotation, exclamation A1, and then continuation here. And then we have go to active sheet name active sheet name and set O range to nothing so that you don't have the same sheet the same sheet added twice and sheet one activates so it activates the first sheet and there you go. So this is how you can create linked names to the to the sheet one. I will of course include this code in my description of my video. Please subscribe.